welcome to this presentation on our learning management system. This demonstration is to, to show how we have designed our learning management system in line with the three-step process suggested by McCormack for Jones. So when the student first comes into the room, they have a little building here to give them some sort of effect that they enter through the doors. Once they get through the doors, they have a lift which has an orientation room for the first time users, their study room to access their requirements. We have a coffee shop or chat session and our contact supports here. So the orientation room or the orientation session is to allow for people who have got very little experience with online learning to go through some presentations which are like audio, video podcasts, how to study online. We also get them to complete a research um, course so they understand what plagiarism is and how to research on the internet and after that they complete the course through an online quiz and then a little presentation on how we assess them and a bit about competency based learning. So in the study room you notice that they have their units of studies or they're here that the ones in green means, means they can access them and we only allow them to access two at a time. Once they've completed those two then they get access to the following subjects. Notice they are in a class, and this particular class is November 2010. You can see that this particular student has accessed it and they have a due date. So the purpose of setting this up is to allow students to progress at their own pace. There is no actual class finishing dates apart from assessment dates that they need to meet. So those, sort of, those students who are high performing and complete early, then the due date uh, can, and those that um, do not meet the due dates the system set up to send them an email and to, to, to advise them that and to us so we know that the students were not performing. This is quite interesting here. Under each subject, whenever there is a tutorial book, which is a live online class, using the platform WebEx, which is similar to Adobe Connect, what they're allowed to do is book here a session for this particular subject, a live online tutorial, if they wish. Once there's more than two that is booked, it becomes confirmed. So on the due date, they just click here, and that allows them to, to go on to go into the presentation, have a tutorial with the students, and also to um, meet other students and be involved in the learning community. So in terms of educational goal um, number two, to enable a better learning community, we do have a class forums, as you can see, to allow students to leave questions for their for each other or for their students. They all get email alerts. They do have a synchronous chat room. Um, so they can see not only their own class members, but anyone who's online. You can see here there's some students that are online, and you can invite them to um, to 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 chat. To chat. So there are synchronous and asynchronous um, systems we have here with the class forms. We also have um, another asynchronous um, technology here, which is a Q and A form. So this is every single subject has a question and answer forum which means students are allowed to see, to ask questions in here um, that can be answered by either other students or by the trainers themselves. Now in terms of assessment management, which is, was our third educational goal, as you can see here, the students selects their unit of study, they immediately have the access to the subject forum as well, and also their study guides and all the resources that they're required, including uh, video podcasts. And they have all the assessment events here are laid out in assessment events in one, two, etc. So to access an assessment event, they click here, which is a Word document, which tells them what their assessment event is. They complete that, then they upload it into the system, press save, and that allows them then to, um, to have that submitted. So once they've completed all the assessment events, they then go to the submit page where they submit it for marking. And an email alert goes to the student to advise them that their assessment has been um, submitted. Also, we have an assessment management officer who then, from that email alert, then sends it off to an assessor who gets an email alert um, and they have 10 days to mark the assessment. So that's our learning management system in the broad overview and having incorporated a wide range of technology that's relevant to their learning and assessment and how we developed it under the uh, three-step process suggested by McCormack and Jones, 1998.